हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज ललित सोनी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इन डेप्थ बाय दृष्टि आई इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ रीसेंट इंसिडेंट व्हिच हैज हैपेंड इन बांधवगढ़ टाइगर रिजर्व ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश वेयर इन देयर इज अ हर्ड ऑफ 13 एलिफेंट व्हिच वाज देयर एंड आउट ऑफ व्हिच 10 एलिफेंट्स हैज डाइड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द पॉइजनिंग व्हिच हैज बीन कॉज्ड बाय द कंजम्पशन ऑफ कोडो मिलेट विल बी टॉकिंग व्हाई दीज कोडो मिलेट हैज बिकम टॉक्सिक इन टुडेस वीडियो तो पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इन टुडेस वीडियो विल बी फर्स्ट विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द न्यूज़ देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट मिलेट and then we will be talking about a particular type of a millet that is basically your kodo millets we will see where these kodo millets are cultivated and then we will be seeing why do farmers are going for their cultivation we will be also seeing that why these millets has become toxic and what kind of impact they had on the animals and in the end we will be seeing that what are the solutions with respect to the kodo millet toxication okay and in the end there will be a practical solution for you okay so let's start with the discussion first we will be seeing the news so news article is that how consumption of kodo millets led to the death of 10 elephants in madhya pradesh so the recent incident was that 10 elephants from a herd of 13 died in madhya pradesh bandhavgarh tiger reserve so please remember the location of bandhavgarh that is located in madhya pradesh because of this incident the bandhavgarh becomes important for you okay afterwards we will be seeing that the officials or the forest officials over there they have to say that the death could have been caused by the mycotoxins associated with the kodo millets okay these mycotoxins we will be talking about a specific kind of mycotoxin which has led to the death of these elephants okay so let's start our discussions first we will be talking about the millets millets is basically a coarse grain okay and it is you can say that it is a tropical crop tropical crop means that means that this is your equator and this is 23 and half tropic of cancer this is 23 and half tropic of capricorn so if there is a crop which is between these two bands so basically that is a tropical crop okay so obviously the temperature over here would be somewhere around 27 degree celsius to 32 degree celsius for this crop to uh, you can say have a good yield okay so that is the temperature in which this crop that is millet which uh, will be cultivated okay so if we talk about this so here you can say small grain cereals also called as the coarse grains okay often referred as the super food because of the nutritious value of this particular crop and if we talk about the historical origin etc we can say that this is the first crop to be domesticated evidence has been seen in the indus valley civilization explorations okay so we can say that from the indus valley civilization we have seen the domestication of millet crops okay now if we talk about the conditions related to the cultivation here you can say it is a kharif crop and the temperature required is 27 degree celsius to 32 degree celsius and the rainfall that is 50 to 100 cm so even in the you know semi arid or arid regions also you may see this particular crop okay other than if we talk about the soil inferior alluvial or the loamy soil can also be uh, you can say uh, suitable for the cultivation of millets because Uh, as i told you that this crop is rich in nutrients but it does not does not require a lot of uh, you can say alluvial qualities etc so we can say that in the poor soil as well in the poor soil and in the poor rainfall also this crop can be cultivated okay now let's move further and talk about the kodo millets what is kodo millet kodo millet is also known as the kodra or varago in india these are the local names which you can remember afterwards if we see the origin of this kodo millets is been traced in india only okay it is a tropical crop uh, and it can also be grown in the subtropical area so we can say that it is a tropical as well as subtropical regions where we can find this particular crop so these are best suitable for the kodo millet cultivation and it is grown on poor soil and widely distributed in arid and semi arid regions which we have already seen okay now some of the famous dishes that can be made with the kodo millet is idli dosa papad chakli and rotis okay other than that there is this fact which can be important that 2023 year 2023 has been recognized as international year of millets by the un general assembly okay so that is some uh, you can say information with respect to kodo now if we talk about the cultivation or the area of cultivation of kodo millets mostly it is grown in madhya pradesh or you can say madhya pradesh is the largest uh, cultivator of kodo madhya pradesh gujarat chatisgarh and 
Tamil Nadu. These are basically uh, you can say are the area where this Kodo millet is been cultivated along with the Karnataka. Okay. Now here you can see these are the area which are given over here. These are the millet cultivation uh, related areas and a specific type of millet that is Kodo that is cultivated in the Madhya Pradesh, some parts of Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Okay. So these are the area where you can see the cultivation of Kodo millets. Okay. It has been given over here. You can go through it. Other than that, if we talk about the international distribution of the cultivation uh, cultivation related areas, so you can say that it is found in India, it is found in Pakistan, it is found in you can say South East Asia. There are few countries like uh, Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines. Okay, so these are the areas wherein you will be finding the uh, Kodo millets. Okay, now we can move further over here and we will see why do farmers grow this particular crop. Obviously, there are certain benefits that is uh, it is a drought resistant crop. Okay, and this is ideal for the arid region. We have already seen that in the arid and the semi-arid region, this crop can be seen. Okay, so it is ideal for the arid regions. Even if there is poor rainfall, we can go for the cultivation of the Kodo millets. Okay. It is a high yielding and the excellent storage property. It is having high yielding. So obviously, if uh, you, can, you are going for the cultivations, the productivity is good. Then moving further, affordable staple for the low income communities. In the areas like Rajasthan, Gujarat, you will be seeing that the millets or bajra is the prominent uh, crop over here. And it is rich in vitamins, minerals and the dietary fibers. As I told you, this is having a great nutritious values. For that it is also famous okay it supports metabolic health by aiding glucose and the cholesterol regulations and moving further it is gluten free easy to digest and high in antioxidants okay so these are the qualities because of which farmers are going for its cultivation okay moving further here you can see why does kodo millet become toxic now we have seen that it is a crop of arid and semi-arid region so it is given that moisture over here or the humidity that will be less in these areas but because of certain reason if the humidity increases if the moisture is there in the atmosphere over there because of which there can be fungal infections okay if there is this fungal infection and because of a particular type of fungi that is ergot okay we can see this infection and which can produce mycotoxins which we have already seen this agot is a fungus which actually go for the production of mycotoxins and because of which the elephants has died okay so obviously if there is a humidity which has increased because of which there will be fungal infections there is a specific type of fungi that is basically your agot fungi and that will lead to generation of the mycotoxins like cpa about which we will be talking about in the next slides okay now Contaminated crops, if we talk about this contaminated crop here, you can say they usually occur when grains are exposed to rain or moisture during the maturation or the storage leading to the Matwana Kodo or Matona Kodo. This is the local terms which are used for the, you can say, uh, contaminated crop. Okay. So, if the Kodo is exposed to humidity or the rains, etc., then it will become Matwana or matona kodo okay now these are basically you can say contaminated crops okay mycotoxins like cpa remains stable even after the thermal and the chemical treatments making contaminated grains unsafe for the consumption once contamination is there there is very uh, it is very you know difficult for them for us to remove that okay so that is why it is unsafe for the consumption okay now moving further here if we see impact of the kodo poisoning because of the uh, you know intoxications or you can say because of the consumption if you are uh, uh, animals are going for the consumption of this kodo or you can say matwana or matona kodo then there will be these impacts which will be there or you can say these are health related impacts which we will be talking about okay nervous and the cardiovascular effect okay kodo poisoning impacts the nervous and the health system causing vomiting giddiness uh, 
यू कैन से ट्रेमर्स रेपिड पल्स एंड द कोल्ड एक्सट्रीमिटीज ओके सो दैट इज देयर मूविंग फॉर द ऑर्गन डैमेज इट कैन ऑल्सो इफेक्ट इफेक्ट द ऑर्गन इन साइड द बॉडी ओके सो वी हैव सीन सीपीए माइक्रोटॉक्सिन दैट इज बेसिकली साइक्लोपियाजोनिक एसिड ओके इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एसिड ओके विच इज हार्मफुल फॉर योर बॉडी इन द ग्रेन लीड्स टू द लिवर डैमेज हर्ट लेजेंस सेल डिजनरेशन इंपेयरिंग हर्ट एंड द लिवर फंक्शन सो मल्टीपल ऑर्गन फेलियर कैन हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस then talking about the next one that is gastro intestinal issues okay so that can also happen after that you will be seeing that behavioral impact like de depression etc that can also be you can say symptoms of this kodo poisoning okay so i hope that is clear now we can move further and we will be seeing that what are the solution to mitigate the kodo toxicity okay most of the time it is very difficult to go for it because identifying it is also difficult okay so here you can see bio control agents okay bio means that obviously we are talking about the microbes over here okay so microbes are used for the control so use of specific microbes to inhibit the fungal growth and reduce the mycotoxin produce, uh, production then talking about the good agricultural practices proper post harvest storage in all right containers all air tight uh, you can say containers because if these containers are air tight so the exposure to humidity or the moisture that will not be there okay and because of which you can actually prevent the infection altogether then uh, sorting avoiding the moisture exposure can help reduce the contamination then detection techniques uh, there are various you can say techniques which are used for the detection as i told you this is not very easy to go for the you can say detection of these kind of uh, intoxications okay rapid detection methods like enzyme linked uh, immuno uh, immuno observant assays okay elisa and then we have lateral flow of assays lfas are recommended for the you can say on site detections you don't have to remember all these things because that is not important just know that uh, this kodo toxicity is because of the exposure to moisture it leads to the you can say fungi action and ultimately mycotoxins are generated okay and uh, one important one is cpa okay so this is about the kodo toxicity this is about the uh, impacts and the solution we have talked about everything which you will be needing for your examination so with that we will be moving to the last part that is basically your mcq practice okay what is the local term used for the toxic kodo millet in the northern india kala kodo matwana kodo neeli kodo or sudha kodo okay so you can attempt this question and answer to me in the comment box with that i would like to take your leave i'll see you in the next episode till then have a good day thank you For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications